Well, joining me now live from Montreal is activist and commentator Mona El Tahawi, who started this hashtag. Mona, I know that you are very busy, very lively and practiced on social media, and you were surprised by the, the extent of the reaction you got here. Um, I was, Philippa, because I've been speaking out about my own sexual assault during Hajj. It happened in 1982 when I was 15 and I went with my family for the first time. And I spoke about it in 2013 on Egyptian television. I spoke about it, in, I wrote about it in my book, and I wrote about it last year on Twitter. Uh, at the start of Hajj, so I could warn, you know, my Muslim sisters, I said at the time. But this time around, after Sabika wrote her post on Facebook, and I'd read that it had been shared at least 2,000 times, I noticed that Muslim women were embracing it um, much more vocally, and many more were sending me stories, were sending her stories. And so I started this hashtag because I wanted it to be part of this global conversation about exposing sexual violence against women um, that, you know, we've heard about, ha hashtag me too. But I wanted it to be about more than just look at what powerful Hollywood producers are doing to famous white women actresses. This is something that began with black feminist Tarana Burke in 2007, and I want it to continue to be something that belongs to all women and not just women in Hollywood and famous people. Mona, we asked um, the Saudi Arabian embassy here in London for a response. Interestingly, this is what they, they said to us, that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia condemns all assaults of, of any kind on men, women or children and wishes to state unequivocally that any sexual or physical assault, especially during the performance of the most sacred pillar of Islam, is categorically unacceptable and contrary to the teachings of our faith. What do you make of that? OK, that sounds great, but I could have written that statement. I want more from the Saudi authorities. I want the, the imam of the Grand Mosque in Mecca in the run-up to the Hajj to give a sermon that will be heard around the world in which he says, the respect of women is central and core to Islamic teaching. Muslim women deserve respect everywhere, especially here in the holy places. And we have to talk about these conversations openly and honestly. That would be tremendously powerful. I also want a campaign from the Saudi authorities, seeing as they run the holy sites that talks about sexual violence and sexual assault against women. I would like to see more women security guards. From my experience going to Hajj, and I've been four times, and I've been many other times to the holy places, all the women there do is just yell you to cover up and I also want Saudi policemen because I was sexually assaulted by a Saudi policeman to know that they will face accountability and not just be able to behave this way with impunity so I want I want more than words from the Saudi authorities I want action I want to hear from them that they hear Muslim women they respect Muslim women and they will be determined to keep sexual violence against Muslim women at a minimum I understand that this isn't something that is going to end tomorrow which is why I began this hashtag because I want to alert my Muslim sisters that this is possible but I want more than just words from the Saudi authorities I hear you and it's not going to happen tomorrow but today and tomorrow um, you do seem to have allowed a lot of women to voice experiences that perhaps they felt ashamed about yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a really toxic mix, Philippa. I think that, you know, any woman anywhere around the world feels ashamed and um, there's a lot of taboo associated with sexual violence. But when it comes to Muslim women, we're caught between a rock and a hard place. We've got Islamophobes and racists on one side who want to demonize all Muslim men and want to weaponize our stories. And I tell them, I am not your friend and you are not my allies. You don't care about Muslim women. And I've got a Muslim community that wants to silence us because they want to defend Muslim men at all costs. And I tell them in the choice between the community and what the way that we look I will always choose Muslim women my choice will always be with the sister so this complicates the, the feelings of shame the feelings of violation you know when I was 15 years old and I went to Hajj for the first time it's an overwhelming feeling to be in the holy places I was 15 years old I had never been sexually assaulted anywhere and to have it happen while I'm performing the fifth pillar of my religion at the holiest place for my religion was a horrendous violation and that's what I heard Sabika Khan say in her Facebook pay, uh, post. She said, it ruined the religious experience for me. It ruined the sanctity of the place. This is what I want my fellow Muslims to hear, that we, we were there and we want to be there and enjoy and experience that sanctity like everybody else does. Mona El-Tahawi, good to have you with us. Thank you.